So here's my very first weekly setup in my 2022 planner. The first complete week of January, I um, left the first week where there are just the first and the second of January um, pretty much blank. So I wasn't quite sure whether I would start decorating the weeks until I just did it. <laughs> so. Um, I kept it pretty simple as you can see, just some um, washi stickers I ordered off, um, I think it was AliExpress again, simple washi tape and another sticker over here. So I think I'm going to leave the layout like this and do the future setups quite similar. And um, yeah, nothing too fancy so to say. The appointments will be written in black. Then there is a marker for the moon phases, the garbage plan, some tutus over here. I will properly put completed projects down here. And I'm not quite sure yet what I'm going to do here or here or if I'm even going to use it or not. But that's something I will figure out in the upcoming weeks, I think. So here's my setup for the second week of January. Um, this time I kept it quite simple. I used some colored pencils, as you can see, to set some highlights and all in all I used a um, snow theme, so to say, using my own printables. The stickers I designed myself and some simple washi. So pretty minimalistic from my point of view. Um, what I figured so far is that the paper is actually quite good regarding bleeding or ghosting. I used some markers on the other side of this page and it neither bled nor uh, ghosted. So um, I'm quite happy with that to be honest. Yep, that's it so far. And here we are with the third weekly spread for 2022. This time I used some simple washi stickers, some animals, and combined it with a simple patterned washi tape, which I bought at Ikea a couple of years ago, and some um, blue tiny washi tape that I also had in stock and I think I ordered it from AliExpress a little while ago. Apart from that, you can still see the markers for the garbage pickup, the full moon, as well as a couple of appointments. I already noted down um, some birthdays and a to-do list, but I guess you understand why I had to blur that out. And what I also did, um, also on the previous spreads, is I marked the week on the tiny calendar down here because it is not marked in the standard layout. But I prefer having it marked, so I just used some fine liner and marked where we are exactly. The final weekly spread for January. Um, I felt like doing a magical theme this time using some magical washi tape stickers that I normally use for months like October because of um, Halloween. And I skipped the washi tape this time as you can see and instead used a silver pen to just put some lines around the um, different parts of the planner and the different days. Yeah, you can again see um, the icons for the garbage uh, pick up, the moon, and that is almost it. So nothing too fancy, pretty minimalistic for me, um, but nevertheless, I absolutely adore the stickers. I think they're absolutely cute. Yeah, so that was January. And I'm already looking forward to set up February. Stay tuned.